Hello students, welcome to my English class for 11th grade. Today we are going to learn first some new words related to the habit of interaction for reading. Second, how to use passive voice in the sentences for use of English. Before the lesson starts, I will ask you some questions. First question, do plants need light? Your answer, yes, the plants need light. Next question, why do leaves have a green color? Your answer, the leaves are alive. Last question, animals eat food to get energy. What about plants? Your answer, the plants are fresh, nutritive. Okay, let's learn some new words related to the habit interaction. Look at the screen. There is a new word with the picture. I will read them. You should follow after me to read them. Vocabulary. Glucose. Glucose. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Respiration. Respiration. Cell. Cell. Habitat. Habitat. Camouflage. A camouflage. A migration. A migration. A hibernation, a hibernation. Okay, you have learned new words and you have known the meanings of these new words. So let's practice. You should open your book, page number 89, exercise 2a, and page number 93, exercise 9. You should read them. Now I will read answers while you are reading. Look at the screen again. Exercises 2, A and 9. Match the words with their definitions. First word, glucose. Answer is C, a type of sugar that's found in plants. Second, carbon dioxide. Answer is D. The gas formed when people or animals breathe out. Next word, a habitat. Answer is B. The place where an organism lives. Next word, respiration. Answer is A. Breathing. Next word, a hibernation. Answer is B, a long sleep that animals take in the winter to conserve heat and survive. Last word, a camouflage. Answer is F, ways that animals can be unnoticed by their predators or by their prey. All that now, you should match other words with their definitions. Okay, you will look at text in your book, page number 89. And look at the board. There are two sentences. I have chosen two sentences from this text in your book. Now let's read. Glucose and oxygen are made as a result of photosynthesis. Next sentence, this energy can be also released by respiration. Okay, they are passive sentences. Now I will explain active and passive voices. What's a voice? Voice, a voice refers to the who or what that's doing 
verb's action in a sentence. Act towards means the subject is doing action. Therefore, there is an active subject. Pass words means the subject is receiving action. Therefore, this is a passive subject. Now I will write an example of present simple in act voice. Present simple. Active. Farmers grow corn. This is an example. Farmers is a subject of active sentence. Grow is a verb. Corn equals object. Farmer, farmers is doing action. So farmers is a, an active subject. So this sentence is a written an active voice. Subject verb object okay now i will write an example of passive corn is grown by farmers corn is subject of passive is grown as verb Okay, Karn is receiving action. So, this sentence is writing in passive form. Now, I will write a formal passive form. At first, subject at to be at past participle to. This is passive form. Do you understand passive form? So let's make some sentences using new words in your book. Do you understand passive form? So let's make some sentences using passive form. For example, oxygen is List. Next, glucose is formed. Okay, oxygen is a subject of passive, is released, is a verb of passive. These sentences are passive sentences. Okay, do you understand today's lesson? What have you learned today? We have learned today some new words related to the habit interaction and how to use passive voice in the sentences. Now I will give you homework. You should do some exercises such as 5 and 6 and 7a. Goodbye. See you next lesson.